Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the UX namespacing we have seen. So by that, we have covered everything about the UX series. Now in this video, what we will try to do is, we will try to structureize the UX code. So for example, if you see the code here, if you see, if you try to see the code in the main.js, if you try to see the code here, the main.js file is become way more bigger file okay so for a debugging for a large project or anything if you are dealing with most uh, more state data it will be very much difficult for us so let's try to do divide this one into a separate file so that main.js will become a lesser code so that for debugging it will be very easy how we can how we can divide this all the store code now let's try to see so here we can create a folder okay store exclusively for maintaining the store data okay now here i can have another folder something like modules okay now in the store what i will try to do is i will try to create the index.js now in this index.js what i will try to do is i will try to i will copy this entire main store code and i will paste it in the in this index.js now i can what i can do is now there is no need for create store thing so importing so we need to import it here in this create store now what i need to do i need to export default store so we need to export this store constant so that it will be useful in the main.js now here we have divided the main uh, store we have, we have we have divided the store now let's try to create the modules in this module let's create another folder for each for each module we will create a <coughs> folder so now we have created a counter right in this counter let me create index.js whatever the name you want you can create so, uh, i have created index.js i will copy this all counter module okay i can copy this all counter module and i can paste it in the counter okay in this counter and now what i can do is i can export this this one export default so whatever thing you can maintain that variable and you can export that variable or otherwise you can directly export default this whole object and now what i want to do this uh, this is the counter.js now again i will create another folder that is to do's okay in this to do's what i will try to do is i will try to show you another type how what they will be doing so here the, the, this to do's module everything i will i will cop i will remove this one and I will create same thing index.js file index.js file and here I can paste okay so this is how we can maintain the modules like this so what how many modules you'll be having so each module folder you'll be having and you can maintain the index.js file like that and here some people what they will try to do is they will still further divide this uh, to do's for example to do's index.js they will still try to further divide this into a smaller smaller file so that it will be very easy for example i can create a new file here getters.js okay so now what i can do here i can completely copy this getters file and I, here i can do export default so i can write this object and i can paste this object like this okay so like this they they will die, try to divide this getters thing also now here what they will try to do here they will remove this one and they will use this getters and they will auto import auto import here automatically so now what i have did okay default is there right so we can remove this one getters so what is happening text.js or otherwise what i can do is here so here we are not importing anything right so here we need to export default okay and i can write it here getters so it will be auto imported from the getters thing now here what i can do i can also divide further actions also I can i can create it here actions.js and i can do export default object and i can paste it this one so for right now we have only one one method so that is the reason we are not able to do and here what i can do in this index.js i can do i can add this one in the actions.js like this so it should be auto imported from here so this is the way they can we can divide the file into further more files or otherwise just we can create a counter and we can paste it here so if you want you can also divide these actions into 
into this counter you can create a separate file access.js in this counter folder and you can import it one. so we have exported default here and you have export default export default and also export default now we need to add this counter and to do in the index.js this main index.js so how can i do so here i can do import counter module okay from so where i need to take module slash counter slash index so this is the file and here i can import to do's module from slash module slash to do slash index okay so now these all to do's and the counter has been inserted okay so now the here we have imported the counter module and and this store is we have exported this store right and let's go to the main.js and here there is no the need of store so i can copy i can pay like this and i can auto import this store from the store see now the the page has become very linear main.js has become very linear all the store has been divided into a separate folder in this store folder so everything store concept you will be having these modules and this counter to do's and this index.js is the main store file if i try to check the output here so now increment if i try to do the increment same thing increment will be happening and here also this will be happening without any problem so now we have divided everything store into a separate folder and we have just imported that one through the import here okay this is how we can divide the store into a separate folders so like this we have re, we have we have we can restructure the store code so if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you